is Tam. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a recap of my um, January reading for my reading for the month of January, which is being documented here in my reading journal. And so this is handmade. And if you've been a part of my channel over the last couple of months, you would have seen uh, this book that I did a flip through of it before I started. Um, documenting in it. So I just took an old book and I decorated the outside and the inside with uh, coffee dot pages mostly on the inside and then I just decorated every month as I go. So um, my January recap is I read a total of seven books for the month of January. So two of those were physical books and the other five were um, ebooks, which I'm finding I read those the most because it's more convenient. Not that I don't like physical books. I think I love them more than anything in terms of what I like to read, holding my hand, flipping the pages, feeling the paper in my hand and turning it and smelling the scent of the book and all of those things that comes along with reading an actual physical book. But um, it's easier to just purchase an ebook, especially when you have a Kindle. You can download a certain amount of books for free, and if you have Kindle Unlimited, that gives you a whole nother um, amount of books that you can also read under that subscription. So um, I found myself reading more ebooks than anything, but I do plan to read at least the number of books that I have on my TBR. And so what I read on my TBR, which are books that I have here in my collection of books, was Blubber by Judy Blum and Calvin by Martine Levette. And so those two I read. And I just printed a picture of the covers from Google and then um, just glued them down in those squares or rectangles. So as I read more from my shelf, I'll just put those print out uh, covers for those as well and put them here. So I was thinking about putting like the month that I read the book here just so that I can know as I go through the rest of the year I'll know what month I read you know what books and if I go beyond the amount that I have here I'll just create another um, page for those here in the um, journal. So these are my genre uh, trackers and I read three historical fictions um, four realistic fictions, no, four, no, I read, you know how sometimes on the uh, genre of the book they'll give you like um, historical fiction or historical fiction romance or um, fantasy romance, and so I was trying to figure out which one do you choose, so in those instances, and I think there were only two, I just checked both of them, so um, I think one I had was a romance, um, I think it was a real, realistic fiction, a romance fiction, is what I think it was. And so I just checked it. I just checked both of them here. Does that make sense? So um, you'll see where I have four there, three there, one here, and I didn't have contemporary literature, so I just wrote that out on a little sticky note, and I um, stuck it to the page and just checked that box as well. So I read a contemporary literature book, which was also... I think historical fiction so I checked both of those and then I checked you know the rest the most books um, that I read was probably historical fiction or realistic fiction so um, and these are the new releases or new to me books that I want to purchase so um, even though they may have come out you know prior to um, me setting up this reading journal there are a couple of books that I did you know stumble upon that I want to purchase so I just wrote them here and I'll highlight them as I purchase them and so the first one that I bought, I bought so far is um, Just As I Am a memoir by Cicely Tyson that came out on January 26th so I purchased that can't wait for it to arrive so I can start reading it hopefully I can get through with it um, this month and I can have it down here in my journal and so with those purchases I just keep track of them here what I purchased and how much it was so I purchased feels like heaven by Vanessa Miller um, it was uh, nine dollars and fifty cents on Kindle and I bought uh, just as I am from Barnes and Noble by Cicely Tyson for thirty three dollars so that is that and so here I just write a list of the books that I've read. When did I begin the book? When did I end? 
and the title, the author, and I'm keeping track of how many pages each of these books are. So Sister of Mine by Sarah Waldfogel and Let Me Fly by Sarah Waldfogel, Blubber by Judy Bloom, Calvin by Martine Levet, The Shag by Michael Gabriel, Feels Like Heaven by Vanessa Miller, and Fancy by Michael Edwin Q. So um, that is where I'm keeping track of those. And so this is my um, January tracker. I just highlighted every day that I read for the month of January. And so I read for a total of 14 days. And I just highlighted them all here. And I kept track of them here and gave my rating and everything on them here. So um, I started off with originally just uh, putting enough space to um, track five books. But I ended up reading seven. So I just... Um, documented those on this library card and I'm just you know using it as a flip out so um, sister of mine by uh, Sarah Waldfogger I is it Sarah or because I have it spelled a different way here let me see what did I do wrong or yeah I have it Sarah on that side let me see which one is it. It's Sabra or Sabra. So this is right and this over here is wrong. So let me see if I can fix that. It's S-A-B-R-A. -A. Okay. So, um, what else was I going to say? Oh, I documented them all here. So, Sister of Mine by uh, Sabra Waldfogger. Um, that was historical fiction. It took me two days to read it. I put excellent, had my attention from the first to the last page, and I gave it five stars. Let Me Fly, also by uh, Sabra Waldfogger. It's historical fiction. It was the second book I read. It took me two days to read that one as well. I wrote, did not like this sequel. I thought the ending to be a letdown. So um, that's what I wrote for that one. Book three was a young adult fiction, Blubber by Judy Blum. It took me one day to read that one. And I wrote, such a sad story of school bullying. And I gave that one one star. Number four was Calvin by Martine Levette. It took me two days to read that one. And that was a uh, young adult fiction as well, I think. It's good and interesting. Um, see what I wrote there, y'all. It's a good and interesting twist on the effects of mental illness in young people. I gave it four stars. Number five was The Shack by Michael Gabriel. I cannot figure out why he named it The Shack. Because the book had absolutely nothing to do with The Shack. But it took me two days to read that one as well. Um, I put, I love this storyline and the characters and the ending, and I gave it five stars. Number six is Feels Like Heaven by Vanessa Miller. Um, it was a fictional romance, and it took me two days to read that one, and I put very good, loved it. Number seven is Fancy, which is a um, contemporary literature by Michael Edwin Q. It took me two days to read that one as well. And I wrote, the faith of the main character was inspirational, and I gave it four stars. And so my book of the month for January was um, Sister of Mine by uh, Sabra Waldfogger. And so I got a track down here. How many books did I read for the month of January? Seven. Number of pages read was uh, 1,735. And number of days that I read was 14. And so for my review of the... Um, um, book of the month I put the book of the month is sister of mine this book had my attention from beginning to end it didn't lack anything in my opinion it had good bad scary emotional love and freedom I thoroughly enjoyed it and it was an awesome page turner for sure so that was um, the book of the month and that is my recap for the month of January. I hope you guys are doing well. Please let me know what you're reading down below or if you want to start reading, um, what are your plans to get that started. I started reading because it's just something that I've always loved to do and I just kind of fell off 
from doing it after I started having children and my attention was diverted to other areas. But um, now that my children are getting older, I really don't have but one son to look after. He's four. The rest of them are uh, fairly independent. So um, I have a little bit of time, not a lot, but enough to read a book for sure. So um, I started back reading just because it's something that I like to do. And um, that's that. So as always, guys, it's a pleasure, and I um, appreciate you guys for coming along on this reading journey with me this year. Hopefully, it's something I can take over into many years to come, and um, that's it, guys. It's always a pleasure. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Until that time, bye.